Remember that we are always in a key of seven scale degrees. Always. If we add another note to our diatonic triads, the new note is a seventh above the bass. Since there are now three notes above the bottom note, our complete figured bass will now have three numbers instead of two. The complete figured bass for a root position seventh chord is 753. This new chord member is called the seventh. If you will remember, sevenths are dissonant and they invert to seconds. Seventh chords are always dissonant. Let's take a look at the qualities of the seventh chord, starting with the diatonic chords in a major key. We already know the qualities of the triads. We must now consider the quality of the seventh as it combines with the triads. All of the sevenths are a minor seventh above the root except for the tonic and subdominant chords, where the seventh is a major seventh above the root. There are two unique chords in this collection, the dominant seventh chord, which has a major triad and a minor seventh, and the leading tone seventh chord, which has a diminished triad and a minor seventh. These are the dominant function chords. They drive to tonic. The quality of the 5-7 chord is said to be a dominant seventh since it can only be built on the dominant scale degree. The quality of the leading tone seventh chord is half diminished because the triad part of the chord is diminished but the seventh is not. This chord will contrast with the leading tone seventh chord in a minor key. The supertonic, median, and submedian seventh chords are minor triads with a minor seventh, or simply minor seventh chords. The tonic and subdominant seventh chords are major triads with major sevenths, or simply major seventh chords. These are all of the diatonic seventh chords in a major key. The tonic seventh chord is rarely used in common practice. Since the tonic is the point of ultimate stability, the dissonance created by adding the seventh is contrary to its function. The most common seventh chord is the dominant seventh chord.